Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the shows with LGBTQIA plus themes that were cut short by the powers that be before their time. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. Number 10, The Wilds. You know, the whole Jesus saves thing isn't like literal. It's not gonna jetpack down and pull us out of here. No, Tony. If the Lord saves those who save themselves. When their plane crashes and strands them on a remote shore, teenage girls must learn to work together if they want to survive. But of course, all is not as it seems. There are conspiracies, danger, and death. But there's also a slow burn romance between Tony, an out lesbian, and Shelby, a closeted beauty pageant winner. Their profound and complex connection stands out among the many stories being told on the teen show. I may be doubting everything else. But not this. Fans were eager to see where their relationship went after the second season, but they'd be left hanging. Although critics called it addictive and praised its young cast, Amazon canceled The Wilds in 2022. I'm ready now. I'm ready for you to tell me what this is. Number 9, Noah's Ark. It's not gonna be the same without you. Feels like I'm leaving my home. While Queer as Folk and the original Queer Eye got pretty respectable runs, this early logo offering was a lesser-known boundary breaker in more ways than one. Not only was it the network's first scripted series, it is credited with being the first scripted series to predominantly feature black gay men. You always want to make it gay. So? So you don't need to define your work by your sexuality. You write scripts about black folk? Are you defining your work by your raciality? Over its ridiculously short two-season run, Noah's Ark made viewers fall in love with its cast and their frank conversations about relationships, homophobia, and illness. Fans got a 2008 movie and a 2020 reunion special after its cancellation in 2006, but many still lament the original show's early and abrupt ending. We can only try, Wade. But I want to try. I really do. Do you? Number 8, The Society. In this one season drama from Netflix, a group of teenagers encounter some kind of dimensional slip that leaves their town empty of anyone but themselves. It's all up to us. There's no civilization here, not until we start one. A mix of the survival, sci-fi, and coming-of-age genres, the society left its audience with a whopper of a cliffhanger in its season one finale. One relationship in particular between two teenage boys, Sam and Grizz, had a lot of promise going into a possible second season. Joe, do you do what? I wanted me. Almost. The show was initially renewed for a second season, but then scrapped due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It never got to deliver a satisfying answer to its many mysteries. They'll definitely want a season two because we don't reveal very, very much. There's still we need a lot answers. Of questions. There's like a hundred questions and not many answers. Number seven, Warrior Nun. In late 2022, the abrupt cancellation of this Netflix show sparked a backlash. Not only did it seem ridiculous for the streaming giant to cancel a presumably popular show, but that so many of the shows it was canceling featured queer characters pointed toward a disturbing trend. Just say when. When. No! Warrior Nun follows a young woman named Ava, who discovers that she has been chosen as a fighter against demonic forces. Torn between the powers trying to control her, she takes comfort in a fellow warrior Beatrice. We're not hiding. We're preparing you to face him. You're so close, Ava. Just a little bit more patient. Unfortunately, their journey will have to be explored elsewhere. However, fans were able to take some solace in the show's end when it was announced that the story would continue in the form of a movie trilogy. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Number six, I am not okay with this. But you know what? The only one looking at me was Dina. Yet another Netflix show axed because of the COVID-19 pandemic. This graphic novel adaptation only got one season to shine. The dark comedy follows Sydney Novak, a bisexual teenager with telekinetic powers. Just breathe. 
breathe. Bolstered by an impressive lead performance by Sophia Lillis, I Am Not Okay With This showed Sydney learning to master her newfound powers and trying to deal with her crush on her best friend, Dina. What set the show apart was its truly messy and celebratory look at the ugliest parts of adolescence. Everyone in her life thinks that she's a piece of <laughs> I mean, everyone. It takes plenty of sharp turns. After an explosive cliffhanger in its season finale, fans were outraged to learn the show wouldn't continue. Number 5. Sense8 I am a gay man! I am a gay man! I am a gay man! Any fan of the Wachowskis would probably tell you not to get too comfortable with a Netflix show. They found out just how little a devoted fan base means when Sense8 was cancelled in 2017. I won't leave you. I promise I won't leave you. The globe-spanning story of sexually fluid characters who form a psychic bond across many different dimensions transfixed its fans. However, despite a plan for at least five seasons, it was cancelled because of its high production costs. Apparently, viewership was too low to justify continuing the show. Luckily, the creators were given the green light to create a movie-length series finale to give it a proper send-off. This is my future. I trust this feeling more than I have trusted anything in my life. Number four, Legendary. We're at the top right now, so you know we have to just bring it harder. HBO's reality competition show highlighted the best and most audacious artists in the ballroom scene. The electrifying series featured talented queer artists over several weeks of competition. But unlike many other competition series, Legendary didn't feel like something happening in a boring studio somewhere. Things got rowdy. Miss Girl, don't you ever quit? <laughs> Me? Out of all the girls? After its third season, the series was cancelled and removed from HBO Max in the wake of the Warner Brothers Discovery merger. Law, you're just so tired. It has nothing to do with the love I have for y'all. And in the words of my late great hit, keep it moving. Even the show's iconic regular judge and ballroom legend, Leomi Maldonado, took to Twitter to voice her displeasure at the company for all but scrubbing the show from existence. Number 3. Gentleman Jack I see I must be uncommonly and fastidiously delicate in leading her into my own ways. But I believe I shall succeed with her. This joint BBC One and HBO production is based on the true story of Anne Lister, an English woman whose extensive diaries were partially written in code to disguise her identity as a lesbian. The show follows Lister as she forges her own path as a landowner in a time when women rarely owned property. The other party has first refusal, so before I accept your offer, I'm obliged to see if they'd like to better it. Who is the other party? That's my business. Her romance with, and eventual marital commitment to Ann Walker, is especially powerful because it's not an alternate history. It's an inspirational early example of a same-sex couple going against the grain. But HBO would cancel the show after its second season, leaving the BBC without a producing partner. It won't be easy. It'll never be easy. But we're both still here, aren't we? Hmm? Number 2. Our Flag Means Death They are the silliest, most incompetent, and arguably the sweetest pirates TV has ever seen. In honor of our hosts, I've had Roach put together some food. I made an assortment of tapas. Tapas means little plates. The well-to-do Steed Bonnet leaves his entire life behind to sail the high seas. The show highlights several LGBTQIA characters and relationships, and just when you might think the appearance of the legendary Blackbeard would spell trouble, the show takes a turn towards true romance. and Blackbeard's relationship was as sweet and unexpectedly warm as anything else in a show about lovable misfit pirates. But in early 2024, HBO announced the show would not return for a third season. Unless, of course, you're having second thoughts. Not. No. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. One Day at a Time The reimagining of Norman Lear's classic sitcom not only reinvents itself by centering a Latino family, but it also showcases young Elena's coming out journey as a lesbian. I see myself someday loving a woman. Elena's family and peers are largely accepting, although her estranged father presents some problems. But we never doubt Elena's family is behind her, and her romantic life is treated with respect and humor. But fans of the show were truly put through it behind the scenes. Why would Sid think you're popular? You're only friends with the teachers. And the principal. It was actually canceled twice, once after its third season, and then again after it moved from Netflix to pop. Though the producers attempted to find a new network, they officially pulled the plug in 2020. And we're stuck waiting for someone to lead us while we watch episodes of our favorite TV shows, but now they have to be animated. What LGBTQIA plus themed show do you wish got more seasons? State your case in the comments. Hi, first time? Ah, uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> have you landed back on Earth yet? I definitely have not. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.